Hi my loves, I'm Anita Manager and welcome back to another episode of Sip and Simmer. We all may have our concerns and worries in life, but during the next 30 minutes, you're mine. We're here to have a drink, a snack, and a good time. In this episode, we will be making Hagrid's Rock Cakes and Butter Beer. It wouldn't be Harry Potter Week without Butter Beer. If you would like to contribute to the production of Sip and Simmer, my Venmo is Mrs. Anita Manager, and all the proceeds do go to all of the drinks and the snacks that we make here together. Tonight, as usual, we have the beautiful Sienna Rose joining us. But before I go on, I need a minute. Tonight we're going to be talking about the traits of Gryffindor, if you couldn't tell by my lovely red gown. In The Sorting Hat, the song he sings, You might belong in Gryffindor, where dwell the brave at heart. Their daring, nerve, and chivalry sets Gryffindor apart. Gryffindors are known for their courage, their chivalry, determination, and they correspond with the element of fire, hence the red. Everybody knows that Harry, Ron, Hermione were all Gryffindors, but tonight we're going to be talking about uh, Hagrid because he was also a Gryffindor. We all know that Hagrid is the gamekeeper at Hogwarts, even I know that. He cares deeply for his students, the animals, the grounds of Hogwarts, and has a strong moral code to protect the people he loves and treats people with respect they give him. When someone doesn't show him respect or mistreats his loved ones, he has no problem standing up to bullies and other forms of cruelty. Most people saw this from him when he caught Dudley eating Harry's 11th birthday cake after realizing how Harry had been treated, he gave Dudley a pigtail. And not one of these, one of these. There's lots of instances where Gryffindors get fired up to protect their loved ones. So if you know people who sometimes act before they think or are mainly driven by the heart and their moral code, they're probably a Gryffindor. These are some fantastic people to have in your life. They have the courage to try new things as well as the caring to not force other people to try them with them. While they might not have tra a traditional moral code, they defend what they see as right and wrong to the end. Just remember that when dealing with a Gryffindor, what they need most is balancing calm. Sometimes you have to talk them out of pushing back too hard against the bully or convince them that they don't have to step in to be the hero for everyone's problems. And if you're a Gryffindor, my advice is for you to work on letting things go and let your friends stand up for themselves. Sometimes the best way to deal with a bully is not by, is by not letting them see you upset at all. And sometimes the bravest thing you can do is to wait. Trust that if a friend needs you, they'll know that you're there to help them. All this time I thought I was a Slytherin, I might be a Gryffindor, how about that? All right, so like I said earlier, tonight we're going to be making rock cakes and butter beer. Now, there are multiple recipes online for butterbeer. This one seemed like the best to me, but also it was the most invasive and took the longest. So if you guys saw my post earlier uh, in Kathy's corner, I gave you the rundown of how to prepare for this. So I have it already prepped here because the first part you do need to let sit to room temperature. We have one cup of dark brown sugar, two tablespoons of water, and what you're going to do is you're going to put that in a small saucepan and you are going to let it get up to 240 degrees. Then you are going to add six tablespoons of butter. Don't worry, you're not putting all of this into one drink. Half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of cider vinegar or white vinegar because that's what I have. And uh, from there, we are going to make the rest of the drink. So what I did was I got this all mixed up earlier and then I let it sit on the counter until I was ready to use it. Um, you do want to just give it a stir because it does get a little bit thick, um, but now we're going to start. We're going to start by making the topping for the um, butterbeer. Uh, it has like a little bit of a frothy whipped cream topping. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two healthy sized tablespoons of this brown sugar mixture into a bowl. And then I'm going to pour in half a cup of heavy cream. And I'm just going to whisk that until it is whipped creamy. But again, like I say all the time, when we're whipping cream, you want to make sure that it doesn't turn into brown sugar butter. Okay. 
And the trick is if you use a smaller bowl, it's a lot easier. Instead of like me using the biggest bowl you could find. I think this is the most in-depth drink we've made on the show so far. Uh, we're just about thick. Obviously, we are going to be making the adult version. For the kid version, just skip the rum. So, I have our brown sugar mixture, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in about two heaping tablespoons. This is gonna be a really sweet drink. I hope Sienna likes it, because Jesus, that is a lot of sugar in this drink. Okay, so there's that. And we are going to Sarah Lee it tonight because I didn't measure up my shots. So you want to put in about a shot. It's a, it's a healthy shot. Alright, so I'm going to give this a stir just to incorporate the rum to the sugar mix. I'll explain when Sienna gets here. Okay. So that is taken care of. And then what you're going to do is you are going to top off the glass with cream soda. So it's kind of like a float, but melted. My lord. Okay. This is, oh, nope, wrong one. Okay, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that whipped cream topping and you're just going to put it right on top of the froth from the soda. Okay, so that is gonna be messy. And because I'm a lady and I thought I had, beautiful. Okay. So I'm gonna get this to the side while we welcome on Sienna. What it do? Hi guys. She's back again. I am. Okay, just in case we have any new viewers, mm -hmm. where can everybody find you on social media? You guys can find me as always on Facebook, Instagram, and the Venmo, Dane, at Sienna Rose Official. And you can find me, I'm Mrs. Anita Manager Everywhere. I'm never gonna get my name. Never. Right. Okay, so. Are you excited about this? I am. I was really nervous that we didn't have the straws, and if I got a mustache from this drink, I was going to kill I did think I had. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's give these a taste. Okay, well, cheers. Cheers. I don't know if we can. I, you got to go for two, because I did say thick. Oh, you Twice. Mm -hmm. I'm not mad at it. Yeah. It's like a, a melted ice cream float. Uh-huh. I wish there was a way to not have the grittiness of the sugar. I didn't get any of that in mine. Oh, lucky mm. me. Okay, Just so in room. case anybody's new, mm -hmm. um, I tend to say thick a lot when we're cooking in the nope. kitchen. Thank you for that. I'm just gonna. Mm -hmm. I actually like the foam top. Oh, okay. Yes, what she was gonna say is every time we say the T word, here at Sip and Simmer, that's our drinking word of the day. So every time we say it, we take a sip, and if you're drinking along with us, you take a sip as well. All right, so, like I said earlier, there are a ton of recipes online for butter beer. If you guys could share the link in the chat room below, um, and let me know what recipes you guys have made, because I got a about the show today mm -hmm. in Kathy's Corner, and everybody was asking me why I picked the hard one. <laughs> but it just looked- Very on brand for you. Right? Yeah. 
It doesn't get harder than this. Oh no. This was actually a really in-depth drink. Um, right? But I saw you break out the, the blender or the whatever the food spinny processor. thing is for the drink. I was like over there in the corner. Like, oh, the hand mixer. On. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, tonight we're going to be making Hagrid's Rock Cakes. Ooh. We are not ogres or whatever that giant man is. Uh-huh. So we don't eat rocks. No, we don't. So. Unless they're pop rocks. Those are always fun. But I actually did. We'll get there in a okay. second. Okay. <laughs> so. Ooh, butterscotch schnapps. That would have been good in this. Yes. But, I mean, technically we did make like a caramel with the sugar when we melted it down. Uh-huh. Uh, with the butter and then the heavy cream and blah, blah, blah. So, I mean, I feel like that would taste very similar to this mm -hmm. without the grittiness of the sugar. So when we do this again... Oh, no. Do, are you no. really going to drink one of these again? It is made for me. <laughs> okay, so like I was saying, so we're not whatever Hagrid is. Mm -hmm. um, or wizards with magic wands where we can fix our teeth. Speak so we are not putting rocks in our cakes. Mm -hmm. We are doing chocolate chips. You can do raisins. You can do craisins. And I actually had a great idea after I put these in the oven. What was that? You know those eggs that they have at Easter? The Cadbury? No, the little the little hard ones. They're like coated in a milk chocolate. Oh. And they kind of look like rocks. They're like the robin eggs, I think they're called. Yeah. Those would be super cute in this. I'm not a fan of those. They're very chalky. I feel like it's like biting into like a styrofoam. But this is more of like an aesthetic mm. thing. This is if you're having a Harry Potter party or mm. you're doing a Harry Potter week on your cooking show. Okay. This is more of like a specific look. Sure. Because you're not going to get like a rock look with chocolate chips or raisins or whatever. I mean, it's close enough. Yeah. Because who doesn't love chocolate chips? So, this is what we'll be making tonight. Now, mm. I do want to um, also point out that when I'm baking or cooking or doing anything, everybody knows I always plate everything. But also, you want these to be irregular. You don't want them to be like nice, mm -hmm. neat looking cakes. They're supposed to look half ha haphazard, mm -hmm. haphazard. Yes. Who, who really knows that? Half haggard. Half haggard. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, so there's big ones, there's small ones, and so it's more like a pick your size kind of mm -hmm. dish. All right. Ooh, Adrian says Whoppers might work too. Oh, so that would be a good idea. Maybe they don't look so much like rocks, but they feel like them when you bite them. <laughs> mm -hmm. What else is, what could you put in that wouldn't like dissolve into mush? Like I can't think of anything else. If you guys were making rock cakes, what would you put in your scones to make them look? I mean, I guess you could have like used like the chunks of chocolate chips instead of like the morsels. Chunks? You know, like, it's just, like, ground up chocolate, where it's, like, PC and irregular, as opposed to morsels. Anyway. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, sure. spoiler alert. The rock cakes are scones. So, if you've watched before, we've made scones on the show before. Mm -hmm. This is my, um, your favorite scone recipe. So, the same thing goes. Use whatever you want to make it look like rocks, mm -hmm. is the whole point of this entire conversation. Okay, so, we are going to be making the um, scone base in the food processor, mm -hmm. because it's super easy, and it's just a lot less work. It is a super thick dough, so you want to make sure that you're... Always. Cheers. So you want to make sure that you're using some sort of machine because you want to do it quickly. Otherwise, okay. the butter is going to melt. And this is mm -hmm. one of those recipes that you want the butter to stay frozen. I actually have, I didn't even cut it up yet. Oh, wow. The butter is straight out of the freezer. Um, we're going to cut that when we need it. So in my food processor here, mm -hmm. I am going to put in two cups of flour, half a cup of sugar, Half a teaspoon of salt mm -hmm. and two and a half teaspoons of baking powder. And I'm going to throw the lid on this bad boy and I'm just going to turn it on just to mix the dry ingredients. All right. So once that's mixed, mm -hmm. what you're going to do is you want some sort of fatty dairy. Right. You want buttermilk, you want heavy cream. You don't have heavy cream. We have a lot of people watching in the UK. It's mm -hmm. called double cream there. Is it? Yeah. 
than a single cream? I think that would be half and half. Yeah. Okay. I think so. Okay, so, so our, our half friends is their whole. Our friends in the UK, what do you call um, half milk, half cream? We call it half and half. I think they call it single cream. But wouldn't that just be only cream? Single cream? I don't, I don't make words. I barely Clearly. use them. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you want half and half. You want heavy cream. You want something fatty mm -hmm. and thick. I prefer... Mm -hmm. Honest to God, I don't do it on purpose. Yeah, she does. You could. <laughs> I got like a chunk of that 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 sugar stuff directly. <laughs> it is single cream. Okay, well. Thank you, Keely. Color me wrong. Okay, so like I said, I'm not gonna say it again. You want a T word, um, fatty, uh, dairy product. Mm -hmm. If you don't use dairy, if you are allergic, if you are vegan. Um, you can use uh, cashew milk, or I'm uh, sorry, cashew cream. Oh. Um, that actually tastes fantastic in the scones. Okay. It's really, it's it's the best substitute. I would definitely steer away from um, almond milk. You can use the soy milk substitute, mm -hmm. um, but I would definitely try and use the cashew cream because it, you want that fat. Oh. Mm. Okay. So, we've got our dry ingredients all mixed up. I have half a cup of our fatty dairy. Mm -hmm. I've got a teaspoon and a half of vanilla and I've got one egg. You don't have to mix this together. You just want to put all of your wet ingredients together so that way you can pour it in mm -hmm. um, once you put the butter in. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is turn that off. Mm -hmm. Well, technical difficulty. <laughs> all right. I'm going to chop this butter up really quick Go for um, it. so that way we can just drop it in. So what you're going to do is you're just going to pretty much cut along the... The guidelines that are on the rack. Yeah, the, the tablespoon guides. And you're going to drop them all in at the same time. Mm -hmm. And you are just going to pulse it like... It's like really frozen. You're going to pulse it like three, maybe four times. Um, and then you're going to take a peek at it and see if you have to pulse it anymore. Now what's the texture they should be looking for? So it should be like pea size like okay. we're not we're not going for like the wet sand look with no. this because that is going to make a really dense scone mm. and you want the chunks of butter to create those little air pockets okay it's cute it's cute wrong button all right all right so that's almost there thank you for paying attention keely mm -hmm. okay so, my butter is about pea size. Okay. All right, awesome. so what I'm gonna do now is really quickly, I'm gonna turn it on and dump all of the wet stuff in. Like super, super it. quick. Okay, now. And that should be about right. So at this point, it should look like wet sand because we did put the wet ingredients in. Right. So you want the first stage of the butter to be pea pearl size, and then once you put the liquid stuff in, it mm -hmm. should look like wet sand. Right. So I don't know if you can see this. You gotta get the hands behind it. Does that help? <laughs> no, probably not. <laughs> um, here. So if you look in my, like, it's very, it's like, I don't know. <laughs> this is why I'm not a YouTube person. Uh-huh. Okay. But you are. You are on YouTube. <laughs> I am. <laughs> and actually, I got um, an email today because I've had X amount of views. I wasn't really paying attention. Mm -hmm. um, and they asked me to, uh, like, safeguard my account. Oh. Yeah, so. Okay. Making moves. Mm -hmm. Not even knowing what I'm doing. Right. Look at that. Okay. So, at this point, what we're going to do is we are going to pick our ingredient are rocks. Mm -hmm. So you are going to be doing chocolate chips. Yes. So because this is a super, 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 super simple recipe, like mm -hmm. even easier than like the normal recipes, like this is, it, we're pretty much done. Love it. Um, I didn't. More time to drink. I didn't cut the butter. I didn't measure the chocolate chips. Just so that way we have a little oh, bit more Oh, there's the readiness. See? Just got it. 
Maybe if like, you give it a little, a little. But you know, I don't mind it. It's almost like a Butterfinger in there. Mm. This tastes like the inside of a Butterfinger. Mm. That's, that's cute. Okay. I like it a little bit more now that I have something to relate it to. Right? See, I know what I'm talking about. Okay. So, if you wouldn't mind oh, okay. grabbing the glass bowl. Perfect. All right. And then on your table over there, you have a measuring cup and you have the chocolate chips. I sure do. So, tonight's game mm -hmm. is a Florida man did what? Say what? Okay. So now this is a true or false game. Okay. as you know. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to read a Florida man did X and you are going to tell me true or false and then I have the actual story or we're going to laugh. Written what? Down. All right. So the first one. Mm -hmm. A Florida man tried to kill another man with kindness. I don't know if you've heard this. Can you please let me know about it? Because this is the funniest thing. I think it gave it away. Well, Okay. Pretend like I didn't hear that. Okay, so if you've heard or of this story, I need you to comment before she even answers because... Mm -hmm. I'm distracted with chocolate chips, so you guys got time. It is amazing. So, a Florida man tried to kill a man with kindness. True or false? Now, he thought he was going to actually kill him with the kindness? Yes. Really? Yes. Maybe. I don't know. Okay. Is it true or false? Sounds like something the Florida man would do, so I'm going to go ahead... And uh, say false. Uh, no, I mean true, true, true. <laughs> I gave you the answer. Okay, so January 2019. Oh, recent. Well, a year ago. So recent. A year and change ago. What month is this? Yeah, who knows? March? Time doesn't, May. Time doesn't exist in 2020. <laughs> okay, a man attacked another man with a machete. That's not kindness. That he carved the word kindness into the handle and refer to it as his friend, Kindness. Now that sounds like something a Florida man would do. Claiming that he would kill anybody that messed with him with kindness. Okay. I like his ingenuity. That's an actual story. I believe it. That, I mean, it's not an alligator through a Wendy's window, which, fact check, we did look it up afterwards. Mm -hmm. So last time we played a Florida man did what? Uh, the story that I had read was that a man threw a full-size alligator through a Wendy's window. Mm -hmm. We looked it up, we found the news report, and we found the news video, or yes. news clip. Mm -hmm. Security um, cam footage from the Wendy's. Right. It was not a full-size alligator. It was only like four feet, which is still a pretty decent-sized alligator. To be thrown at you? Absolutely. <laughs> but the poor woman standing at the register didn't even realize until the alligator started crawling back from where the man had thrown it in. Uh-uh. Nope. Not happening. No, ma'am. Okay. Adrian, if you have any type of weapon with the word kindness on it... Send it my way. <laughs> I need you to post a picture either in the chat room or on my Facebook mm -hmm. because that is the funniest thing. I never would have even thought. I'm going to get one of my professional knives in the kitchen. I'm gonna have kindness engraved on it. Okay. That's cute. That is cute. Okay. Ready? Uh-huh. Next. Oh, wait. Before we do the next one, why don't you measure out a cup and a half of our rocks? Is this a cup? That's a half a cup. <sighs> a cup and three. a half. Three. Thank you. Okay. So, typically we have all of our mise en place done, which is French for everything in its place. But, um, like I said, it's a super simple recipe. And also, I wanted you guys to see that we weren't like, cheating or whatever because we have a few <laughs> Jasmine Rice of Asia. <laughs> Say what now? People who like to claim that our stuff is store bought because we Never. cook so well. We do. And everything looks so beautiful. Mm -hmm. No Entenmann's here. No, ma'am. Mm -hmm. I actually don't like Entenmann's. Get out. Get out. Leave my show now. The, Hi guys. <laughs> the only Entenmann's that I like is their coffee cake. But it has to be like a day or two open. Like where it's yeah. almost stale mm -hmm. and you bite into it and it's like a little stale on the outside and yes. still soft on the inside. Absolutely. That's my jam right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a four foot alligator is 80% of Adrian's height. Adrian, now I see why you're friends with Aaron. You, you went and did the math of the size of that. Right. I love that. I can't. I can't. 
Okay, so we've got a cup and a half of chocolate chips in the bowl. Mm -hmm. I'm going to remove the thing that I stab my hand with all the time. Yep. Okay. And you're going to dump all of your uh, scone mixture in. Okay. Okay. You're gonna make sure you get everything because. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for joining us, Jasmine. Finally. Yes, we are finally leveled. Thank God. You know, we actually had to get rid of a few people. It was sad to see them go, mm -hmm. but the replacements are even better. Um, it's actually the same people, but I just gave them haircuts, so yes. they look a little different. Yeah. Now the whole house is blonde. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do is Sienna, because I have this heavy card. Oh, is that what it, it is? Uh-huh. It is. But I don't I don't want to like ruin my nails or my jewelry. That's what this I is went for. with the um the sorcerer's stone tonight. Ding ding, get it? Oh that, yeah. That's yeah. a Harry Potter reference, right? Okay, well this was um that's I don't want to nerd out that much. Okay. Um but the sorcerer's stone is actually uh Let me let me live the one reference that I know from this series, okay? okay? She's got her sorcerer's stone on. Oh darn! What? I wanted to wear my Time Turner. Timmy Turner? Time Turner. Okay. So in uh, one of the books, uh, what's the girl's name? Hermione. You're the wrong Gets person. like this little circle thing that sure. she can travel through time with from Dumbledore. This um, sounds like an episode of Doctor Who. But I got Aaron a replica of it. Mm-hmm. Um, and I have it upstairs, so I was gonna wear it. But I'll just okay. wear it tomorrow. Okay, but not tomorrow, I'm, on Friday. I'm on Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. Thursday. Yes. Thursday. So we have a new schedule now. Anita, what is that new schedule? We are here on Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. Three days a week. Now, like I said, we love doing the show, mm -hmm. and like most of you, we don't have that much else going on, but we are moving forward with my salon. Uh, Sienna is going to be my manager, so mm -hmm. we have a lot of people working so on So I'm managing the manager. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess you don't need a manager anymore, because oh, I'm here. I gotta change my name now. I know. Look, Mr. Manager just brought me my time turner. Oh, how cute. So that's what it looks like, and I didn't <laughs> match it. But anyway, so this is what it looks like, and then they, it would spin like that, and they would go time travel. Oh. That's it. Okay. There was a whole lot. Anyway. Back to the chocolate chip. Back to us. I know this is Harry Potter week, but uh -huh. <laughs> back to us. Okay, so you're gonna mix that while I read the next, uh, a Florida man did what? What do you mean mix? There's no mixing this. I should've just put, you should've put this in the bowl first and the chocolate chips on top and then call it a day. Well, I don't, I did it with my hands. Oh, no, no. I know, but I'm not washing my hands right now, so that's why I had you do it. That's why I'm using the spoon. Okay, ready? Sure. A Florida man brings drugs to a True. drug bus True. and gets busted himself. He wasn't involved in the original bus. Uh -huh. So let me just clarify, because I didn't write this question very well. So a Florida man stumbled upon a drug bus and gets busted for drugs himself. That's what it should have said. Okay, how does one just stumble upon a Florida. drug bust? Florida. Go in with said drugs and act surprised. I mean, only that would happen in Florida. So are we going to have true or false? Let's see what the comment section says. What do you guys think? Okay. True or false? Do you think false? it's realistic for somebody to stumble upon a drug bust that is happening and get busted for drugs themselves? In Florida. In Florida. Mm-hmm. Okay. Just saying true. True. Okay. Do you have any more guesses? All right. Keely. Saying true. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's see if we can get one okay. more. Adrian, Adrian is false. saying false. Adrian has a lot of hope in the state of Florida. <laughs> okay. All right. I am going to go with true. True. You believe that a Florida man oh, stumbled upon a drug bus and got busted for drugs. Absolutely. I have a direct quote from this man. April 2019. Oh. Very um, busy year for Florida. <laughs> Actually, I found a website that has every single A Florida Man type story no. in chronological order. Mm -mm. If you'll notice, these are all in chronological order also. Okay. Okay. So next one's from May. A man walking up to a drug bust asked walking a police up. officer what was going on. Okay. When the officer responded with a very large drug bust, 
he responded with, Oh, hey, I have drugs too. <laughs> no. I'm just God. If you don't believe me, you can look up April 2019. I didn't get his name because I literally laughed so hard I had to stop doing this. And I only have three questions tonight because I couldn't control myself. Just... He responded to the officer and this is a direct quote. Oh, hey, I have drugs too. Or maybe he thought the officer was like there at a party and like get the drugs for himself. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to rationalize, but... Okay. How do you even... Before we get to the last one, what we're going to do, because Santa did such a fabulous job wrapping these. I did. We are going to take this. Mm -hmm. And now typically what I would do if you're making pretty scones is I like to form it into the shape of a square. Okay. And then I like to cut it diagonally so you have two big triangles. Sure. Um, so that way you get three from each triangle and you have that mm -hmm. perfect scone triangle. But these aren't scones. These are rock cakes. Right. So you are going to dump this onto your saran wrap. Um, cling sorry, wrap. Cling wrap. Cling film. Cling, cling, film. cling film. Yes. We love our international viewers. We do. Okay. So you're going to make sure that this is completely wrapped. Mm -hmm. And then what you're going to do is you're going to put it in the refrigerator for two hours. Yep. And when you pull it out, it is going to look like double this. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Okay. So, I am going to have you uh -uh. do the cutting. Oh. You already have it in your hands. But no, you're literally just going to cut six oh, pieces. Wait, there's more. Okay. Six pieces of any size, any shape. How about it? The messier, the better. Right, more. Okay. So while you're doing that, I'm going to read the last question. Okay. So, a Florida man was mm -hmm. arrested. Three, Ready? Uh-huh. A Florida man was arrested uh, twice in two days for impersonating a police officer. Didn't somebody in our last round impersonate a police officer? No, it was a doctor. It was a doctor. It was a doctor. There was an 18 year old boy who dropped out of high school who had a full medical practice. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, and God bless him. But this... Is it the same guy? <laughs> no. Could you imagine? Okay, so a Florida man, true mm -hmm. or false, was arrested twice in two days for impersonating a police officer. While you think about that, I want to hear what you guys have to say. Do you really believe that somebody is stupid enough to impersonate a police officer the day after they were arrested for impersonating a police officer? In Florida. <laughs> in Florida. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these irregular shapes, mm -hmm. and you did a much better job than I did about making them irregular. Well, don't waste the chocolate chip. Absolutely not. Okay, so perfectly imperfect. Mm -hmm. We're gonna pop these into the oven for 20 to 25 minutes at 400. Okay, okay. Patrick is saying true. Mm hmm. All right. Jess is saying true. I, you know what? I pay attention. Um, Jess has, I don't believe Jess has been wrong Ooh. at any of our questions. Okay. Just Good saying. for you, Jess. Keely is saying true. Mm hmm So that's three for three so far. Okay. Mm, let's see here. Adrian thinks at least one has to be false. Oh, okay. well actually, pay attention. Last time I did, a Florida man said what? I think they're all so funny. They were all true. Mm. That could be the case. That couldn't be the case. Who knows? Well, since I know you so well, I'm going to go with true. Kind of. What it's do you mean false. Kind of? <laughs> <laughs> true, kind of. It's false. How? He was arrested three times. Goodbye. In two days for impersonating a police officer. No, ma'am. Yes. March of 2020. Goodbye. To avoid paying a $2 toll going over a bridge, he impersonated a police officer. He was arrested when he got to his destination on the other side of the bridge. Okay. He was taken to jail on that side of the bridge. Right. He left jail, got his car, drove back over the tolled bridge, Were and impersonated, impersonated a police officer. Now, this happened on March 9th of this year. Okay. okay, for 
for two dollars. So we're up to four dollars now. He was arrested. Get further. Okay. okay. Two days later, mm -hmm. same bridge. He was arrested and kept in custody because they didn't believe he had the mental cap uh, capacity to not do it again until his court case. I believe three I'm times right. from March 9th. Mm -hmm. uh, well, two times on March 9th and mm -hmm. once on March 11th. Same. Now, bridge. see, this man needs ways to go into settings <laughs> and hit avoid tolls. Then he would have been fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Isn't that crazy? That is ridiculous. Uh, I love this. Only these. happens in Florida. I love the Florida man said was. Or just <sighs> oh, God. All right, guys. I really hope that you are enjoying our Harry Potter week. Mm -hmm. Again, as you saw Ooh. in the beginning, these are our beautiful Hagrid's Rock Cakes. Yes. As you can tell, I obviously hated this beverage. Uh, right? Both of us. Mm. Trust me, you're going to want to try this one. If you're a Harry Potter fan... This is what I imagined when I was walk, um, reading about it. Mm -hmm. Because I just imagined it to be a super sweet. And it is. Yeah, it is. It absolutely is. Mm -hmm. So if you read the books as a kid or as a young adult um, or a full grown adult, um, okay. this is what Butterbeer tastes like. Mm -hmm. um, I want to thank you again for coming on. Always my pleasure. Again, you can always find Sienna Rose on all of her social media, including our Venmo at Sienna Rose Official. That's right. You can find me at all of my social media, including my website and my YouTube channel at Mrs. Anita Manager, mm -hmm. including my Venmo. Oh, look at that. Um, and uh, I think and that's it. Yes, so make sure you come back and join us again on Thursday for the conclusion of Harry Potter Week with which house? Uh, I believe we're doing... Uh, Ravenclaw, but we're I doing think Slytherin. That's my so, house because so, I'm evil. Let's so we're going to be doing Ravenclaw, but because um, your hostesses mm. are from the house of Slytherin, who knows what we'll look like? Ooh. One of us may come in as like a full blown snake. Oh, <laughs> who knows? Maybe. No. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. <clears throat> we will see you on Thursday. I'm gonna need a manager, and you're amazing. Good night, guys. Okay. I'm How really, long till we can eat these? The moment our picture is done because okay. they are delicious. Good, I just need chocolate in my life. They're 